Fireflies just came out with their new E12C, which is a great successor of the well-known popular E12R. And although it is not a boost driver flashlight, it still offers incredible performance in this 121700 cell multi-emitter Lumen Monster format. Depending on the website you choose, either the old Fireflies one or the new Firefly Outdoor one, the choice of emitters range from Nietzsche's 519A to SST20, Samsung Galaxy 51D and even Osram emitters. E12C can also be ordered in this beautiful rainbow coating finish. Apart from standard purple and ice blue auxiliaries, you can also choose the customer designed auxiliary LED color, which is a great option to customize your flashlight. E12C comes in a standard Firefly light black cardboard box with no stout whatsoever, but just the motto of the brand. Although the Fireflies are legible, they eliminate the darkness. Couldn't agree more. Inside you will find a flashlight with a bunch of accessories and user manual. We've got the Type-C to Type-C cable, interesting looking stretchable lanyard and free spare o-rings in case you need a replacement. There is this vast and good operation guide included with all the Unreal functions listed. If you prefer the video tutorial, make sure to check out my own at the top right corner. Last but not least, beautiful Fireflies E12C well protected inside a box. At first sight, Firefly Light E12C is definitely an attractive looking flashlight. It is compact, it sits well in your hand and knurling it just gives you a perfect amount of grip even with wet hands or gloves. The switch has light illumination underneath in color white slash cyan if you prefer that and we've got the 12 LED design optic slightly more throwy than the previous one. It does remind me of the one featured in second generation of Rod 66 from Fireflies. We've got the stock ice blue and purple auxiliary LEDs. These are the low setting and this is the high setting. For my test it's a little bit too bright, especially in at night. However, it does look magnificent, I have to admit. We've got slightly purplish anti-reflective coating, which is always a nice bonus. Stainless steel bezel protects the optics quite well and we've got good portion of cooling fins as well as thick shelf under the MCPCB to provide a nice stable performance in those higher modes. At the rear we've got strong magnet that can hold the flashlight even horizontally. Build quality is excellent on this one and I have no reservation whatsoever. You can access the battery by unscrewing the tail cap, the magnet will help to remove it. As you can see we've got Fireflies E07 style tail cap with good thick spring without any bypass. Inside there's just plain contact with exposed electronics, looking good though. Threads are square, well cut with good o-ring to ensure the water resistance. For the test I'm using the Samsung 50S battery which is the high capacity high current 21700 cell for optimal performance. Everything is perfect and smooth. At this time I had no problem with o-ring being too big for the tail cap. Nice. On the head portion you can also unscrew the battery tube to reveal equally good threads with built-in USB-C charging port. This one also features a power bank function that you can use in emergency situations. I'm not a huge fan of the USB-C charging port built into the threads However, I understand that it does add for additional water resistance as it does use standard unprotected 21700 cells you can easily charge them inside your regular Leon battery charger. However, if you need extra more convenience or if you don't have any charger you can easily charge the battery inside via the built-in USB-C charging port. Plug in the USB-C charging cable and observe the four indicators as the charging is in progress. When the charging has been finished all four indicators will be illuminated to show you the battery status. So as you can see it took me around 2 hours and 24 minutes to fully charge the Samsung 50S 5000mAh battery inside the Firefly Light E12C. Reverse charging or power bank function can always get in handy and it's a welcome feature.
works perfectly fine in my sample. Detecting charging protocol in the power bank mode was pain in the ass though. On the hand portion we can see some AMC converters as well as fake spring similar to the one in the tail cap. Additionally pogo pins to firmware update is also available. Let's go through basic functions. As you know this runs Unreal 2 so there are tons of little functions, features etc. However I would just present you basic ones one click for on, one click for off. As you can see, switch is definitely linked to the auxiliary LEDs. You can also change the brightness, etc. via seven click from off. If you are in the on position, hold the switch to increase then decrease the brightness, even set modes or smooth ramping, one to three to toggle between smooth ramping and set modes. When the flashlight is off, hold the switch to enter the lowest moonlight setting which is quite low in this particular version thanks to the linear driver. You can also double tap to access highest available modes, max ramp from off and when you are in the on position regardless of the mode double tap to hit the amazing turbo performance. If you like to check the voltage triple click from off 1, 2, 3 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three point nine volts, which is still quite good. For lockout, either four click from off or simply unscrew the tail cap lightly to be extra sure. It will see I have here on me today is the SST 24000K version, which offers quite focused spot with nice amount of spill, perfect for around 400 meter illumination. However, courtesy of my friend, I also have the Nichia 519A 5000K version here, and as you can see, it offers substantially larger hotspot, perfect for more close up illumination. Both do provide a great tint as well as color rendering, SSD is 95 CRI and Nietzsche 519A is more like 98 CRI. All right, so you ask me a lot, what's the difference, the practical difference between the Firefly Light E12C and the older Fireflies E12R? Well, basically, as you can see, we've got a little bit different design on the older model E12R and the newer E12C. As you can see, uh, the knurling is virtually the same so as the tail cap we also get the magnet down there however the switch is slightly better in my opinion on the e12c which with more pronounced click and less mushy performance it'll also backlit when it comes to regular performance not only when it's charging as the e12r as you can see we also have the more pronounced cooling fins as well as definitely well visible thicker shelf under the LED which gives you more stable and reliable performance in higher modes. Unfortunately this time this is still a linear driver the FAT plus 12 plus 1 oppo as opposed to the back boost Lume Ocean driver in E12R. However because of the increased shelf and I believe also newer Unreal version the performance is virtually identical in the linear driver when it comes to stable turbo performance and sustainable output in some LED choices. The optics also differ a little bit. In E12R it is more diffused big hotspot optics. The E12C features more narrow optics found in the ROT66 Gen 2 Fireflies flashlight. In the practical case you will get a little bit more focused spot with a little bit more range however still providing good amount of spill in front of you. Apart from this you also get the RGB auxiliary LEDs in the Fireflies E12R as opposed to custom made or standard two color auxiliary LEDs in the E12C. Apart from that you also have the onboard charging on both models however you've got the rubber cover outside port in E12R which provides you a good two amps charging which is still fast however on E12C you've got 3 amps charging and also the power bank feature. In my subjective point of view you also have better quality and finish on the newer E12C so if you ask me if I would update the Fireflies E12R to the newer model E12C I would say definitely yes even if it didn't offer Nietzsche 519A. Here are my lumen measurements for the Firefly Light E12C both SST 24000K version and Nietzsche 519A 5000 Kelvin. So let's start with the SST 24000K version now. Here as you can see I measure around 6 
thousand moments in start as you can see we've got around 42 seconds before the first step down from around 5123 lumens and then another step down after one and a half minutes from the 4510 lumens again massive step down over the course of 15 seconds so quite fast mind you to around 795 lumens levels after the flashlight body did hit 75 degrees celsius mind you i preset my thermal limit to 70 degrees celsius so the highest possible thermal limit in unreal 2 flashlight just to make sure the performance is maxed out so uh, as you can see the runtime graphs looks quite impressive uh, the, remembering that these are not quite efficient leds but rather good for high cri output and beautiful tint uh, we've got around 700 lumens sustainable output for around 1 hour and 40 minutes on the Samsung 50S battery, so this is the 5000 mAh battery. So this is, this is the Nietzsche version, and we've got around minute and 2 seconds of turbo performance before the step down from of over 6573 lumens over the course of 36 seconds to around 1059 lumens again after hitting 75 degrees Celsius. So thermal wise, it is quite efficient. And I don't see any particular problems just judging from the turbo performance itself. As you can see, we've got around 940 lumens stable for around 1 hour and 25 minutes, which is really great. The flashlight body stabilizes around 58 degrees, so everything in norm. Let's switch to max ramp in SSD 20 version right now. So as you can see, we've got around 1796 lumens to start and over 14 minutes of stable performance before death to the series of step downs to around 1061 lumens after 27 minutes of operation, which is extremely respectable result judging by the low efficiency LED with high CRI. So we've got around 1000 lumens sustainable for around 1 hour and 35 minutes, largely by destabilizing at around 60 degrees Celsius. Now the Nature 519A version, here we've got around 12 minutes of stable performance before the massive, I repeat, massive step down to 264 lumen level. And as you can see, we've got much more aggressive Unreal 2 thermal regulation here. The output is fluctuating, starting to decrease rapidly and then increase over time to stabilize the temperature of the flashlight body. So here we can see definitely that Nietzsche's 598s in this particular example are much worse choice compared to SSD 20s when it comes to stabilized output and stable performance. For the beam shot comparison, I will be taking another Firefly Lite E12C with Nietzsche 519A 5000K, Fireflies E12R with Samsung Galaxy 351D 4000K 90 CRI, as well as Noctigon K9.3 with the dome Nietzsche 519A 5700K.
Let's face it. Firefly Light E12C is another absurd flashlight with only one cell, 12 emitters, and sheer output. However, design is great, execution awesome, and this flashlight just looks amazing. Although it does feature only a linear driver, the amount of AMC converters is good enough to sustain about 1000 lumens and the auxiliary LEDs that you can custom also add up to a great experience. With wide choice of LEDs, it can fulfill almost every flashlight enthusiast taste. Quick USB-C charging along with the power bank function is also a handy option. So overall, very satisfied with the new E12C, especially that I already have the E12R, I can definitely see improvement over the older model, even if it does not feature a boost driver for Lumen Ocean. So in my opinion, this is definitely worth improvement with some design tweaks that were necessary to improve your overall satisfaction and user experience. So guys, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more videos to come and to support the algorithms channel. I am highly supporting Firefly Light projects because I think they have great potential for outdoor and flashlight enthusiasts to have the ultimate fun lightning tool for their purpose. So guys, thanks for watching and we will see you in the next one.